Hey friends, this is Shukesh Bunning from Gadgets Portal and today I'll be unboxing new Micromax Superphone Pixel A90s. This is the successor of the very popular A90 and it has got a dual core processor just like the Micromax A110 which I have already unboxed. You have only one color choice that is black and here is the pricing information. The MRP is 16,499 but the market price is 12,000 or 12,500 and the SAR value is kinda high actually compared to Micromax A110 but don't worry it is under limit. Now here are some specifications. First of all the processor is improved 1 GHz dual core and the Android version is 4.0 that is ice cream sandwich and the dimension especially the thickness of this phone is pretty good. Now the most attractive thing on this device is the brilliant super AMOLED screen and it is 11 cm diagonally that is around 4.3 inches. The 3G speed is up to 7.2Mbps uploading and 5.76Mbps downloading. Now the camera on this device is again very good. It is 8 megapixel autofocus and with flash and the front facing camera is of VGA quality. It has got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and the battery on this device is of 1600 mAh which is not very good or not very bad, it is just standard. Well that's all in the packaging, now let's start the unboxing. Here it is and the front look of this phone is looking damn good, it is purely black and the back side of this phone is also looking very very good. Now let's check what are the things inside. Well first thing you are getting is the headset and the good news is that this is of in-ear type unlike Micromax A110 Canvas 2 and the earpieces also feel premium and I'll try this headphone and talk about the quality in the in-depth review. Now here is the inline microphone with some push button technology and here is the 3.5mm headset jack which has got a nice gold plating on it which will provide you better sound quality. Now here as you can see there is not that much gap between the phone and the jack here is the data cable for data syncing and also for charging now next thing you are getting is the charging adapter here is the 1600 mAh battery for your device and it is pretty small actually and you are also getting some booklets from Micromax as usual here is the hookup guide and here is the user guide which will actually show you the basic steps for getting started and here is the warranty statement. Now let's get rid of these things here and have a close look at the device. Here it is the new Micromax Superphone Pixel A90s and Micromax is not calling it a Pixel 2 like Canvas 2 but it is just the new Pixel. Now let's attach the battery and show you inside. Well the back cover is stuck to the phone very badly and it is also not that much flexible as you can see. Now here are the SIM card slots and this one looks to be hot swappable. I will check this out and tell you later. Now here is the SIM one and here is the slot for your micro SD card. Here it is ultimately a pretty nice looking device and from the front it is looking very very nice. You can't even see the Micromax logo because it is purely black and from the back side it is also looks like Galaxy S2. The weight of this phone is also pretty less. I don't know what is the exact value. Now let's have a quick hardware tour. Here is the ear speaker grill along with some sensors and here you are getting the front facing VGA camera. At the bottom part of this one there is absolutely nothing so I guess that it has got on screen home back and the option menu just like the previous A90. Here is the 4.3 inch screen with 480 by 800 pixel resolution at the rate of 217 ppi and as you know it is brilliant super AMOLED. The display glass is also premium Corning Gorilla glass which is scratch resistant. Now here on the top part of this phone you are getting the 3.5 mm headset jack and here under the door you are getting the charging as well as the data syncing port. Now here on the left hand side of this phone you are getting the volume rocker and here on the right hand side you are getting the power as well as the lock and lock key and the position of the lock and lock key and the volume rocker is just good on this phone because this is a 4.3 inch screen and it feels just perfect in hand. And at the bottom part of this phone you are getting the tiny microphone hole over here. Now at the back side of this phone you are getting an 8 megapixel camera and it does autofocus. I will upload the photo samples in my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgetsportal. 
and as you can see there is a nice LED flash available you are also getting a tiny microphone hole over here for noise cancellation and I think the video camera also uses this microphone for voice recording and here you are getting the loudspeaker now let's turn on the device and show you the user interface here it is friends here is the lock screen for your device and as you can see there is a nice glowing effect now let's unlock the device and show you the display and other things here is the home screen for your pixel a90s and as you can see the display is very colorful the response from the screen also seems very good and the screen is very smooth but the display brightness seems a little bit low compared to a110 i have been using canvas 2 for a while but after using the a110 i am feeling that the brightness is not that much let's check whether i can increase the brightness here on the notification window you are getting couple of toggle switches and these are very very handy here you are getting the profile and at the left part of the switches you are getting the brightness timeout and also the screen rotation and as you can see the brightness is not optimum I have increased it now it is looking very good but still I am not very happy with the brightness of this device because it is super AMOLED and it will not be that much bright as IPS display so the outdoor visibility of this device may not be very good but look at the color reproduction of this display this is very best and the saturation level is obviously better than A110 the black level on this phone is almost purely black because this is an LED display and the slightly lower brightness is actually the characteristic of an LED display. So the outdoor visibility may not be very best but indoor visibility will be very soothing to the eyes and images will look much more colorful. Now as you can see it has got auto brightness controls so this phone does have an ambient light sensor which most of the Micromax phones lack including A110. Now just like A90 it has got the on-screen Android keys to give you the stock ICS experience though this actually takes some space from your display but when you are watching movies or playing games this bar actually hides. Now this is the home, this is the multitasking and this is the back button as you know and here is the option menu and you are getting a lot of options. I will show all of them step by step in the in-depth reviews. Now if you press and hold on the home you are getting a very nice view. I've seen this kind of window in HD phones, it is pretty cool actually. Now let's put an app to the home and as you can see it is very very user friendly. So you can browse your applications from here and here are the widgets for your home. I am actually loving this user interface very very much and you are also getting some shortcuts to be added to the home. So Micromax has ultimately put some serious interface to their phone which is very good. I must say this is one of the best user interface I have ever seen on any Micromax mobile phone and also on any other brands. I hope Micromax has done a lot of other customizations on this phone and I will be using this device thoroughly and show you all the features on this phone in the upcoming in-depth review so don't forget to subscribe to Gadgets Portal. This is just my first impression and I am very very happy with the user interface. Here are the applications you are getting out of the box and most of these are typical Android applications and you are also getting some Android games preloaded on this device but I have found on the A110 that these games are not free these are paid applications. Here are some other applications preloaded and as you can see friends the applications are square in shape with rounded corners just like iPhone iOS and the applications which are already square in shape doesn't get this effect. So overall the user interface on this device is absolutely brilliant. And I don't know whether Apple is going to sue Micromax for this as they have done this to Samsung. And I'm not joking guys. Now. Let's check the Android version on this device and also the storage information before installing any application. Now the Android version is 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich and the kernel is 3.0.13. Now let me show you the storage and the RAM and let's open the applications for that and as you can see you are getting around 1 GB of internal storage though 66 MB is being used by the preloaded applications now here is the SD card storage and this is basically the micro SD card I have inserted into this phone not the internal phone storage now let's check the RAM information on this device you are getting 242 MB of free RAM which is not bad and 231 MB is being used so total of around 470 MB of RAM.
Here I found the phone flash storage which is of 1.92 GB and you can move your installed applications to this internal storage. Overall I really like this phone, I like the display, I like the user interface and as you can see the viewing angles are also very very good and there is no decolorization, there is no decrease in brightness as well. Initially I thought that this will be a carbon copy of the previous A90 but I am very very happy that it is redesigned and also very much improved. After this unboxing, I will be using this device thoroughly and try to discover all the features on this phone and upload a full in-depth review on this device in my channel. So don't forget to subscribe to Gadgets Portal. You can also visit facebook.com slash Gadgets Portal for the photo samples. And if you are really liking the effort of Gadgets Portal, then let me know. Comment in the comment section, share this video with your friends and also like this video. So that's all for now buddies. See you in the next video. Bye bye.